I'm Ann. I'm Malia. And we're you're here with Share Shed TV. <laughs> Not I'm here, you're here. So we're you're all here. here. <laughs> we're all here. Um, today we are going to be making homemade pie crust to be able to make a chicken pot pie. Uh, I typically make pie crust from scratch. I started doing this um, probably a couple months ago. I used to buy it pre-made in the store all the time, just the kind that you roll, that comes in a tube, and then you roll it out. And um, I like the way this tastes. Homemade always tastes better. And then I can make it in bulk and keep it in the freezer and pull it out whenever I need it. Um, but in this case, after we make this, I'm gonna make chicken pot pies that are already made as a freezer meal. Mm -hmm. So hopefully it'll make life easier. Are you ready? Have you ever made a pie crust from scratch? Have not. Okay, this is gonna be interesting then. So you're gonna learn how to do this too then. Okay. So I pulled up a recipe online. This is from Simply Recipes. Um, SimplyRecipes.com. I can put the link um, below the video so you can have it for later. But I'm gonna double this recipe today. So hopefully we can do that. Because we're gonna have to use our um, the food processor. So I'm gonna make one batch in the food processor. If I get it too full, it's gonna go everywhere. So I'm gonna make one load, dump it in here, make another load, dump it in here again, and then we'll combine them all together. Cool? Cool. All right. Okay, so recipes. This recipe calls for all-purpose flour. You don't need any fancy flour at all. Just regular old all, purpose flour. I just so happen to use a peanut jar to keep my all-purpose flour in, and so it works great for me. Will you measure out, um, let's see how this looks when you pull it out. Oh, it's like already quarter. Okay, so this is gonna be, we need 12 um, tablespoons or three-fourths of a cup. So will you see how it has the numbers right mm -hmm. there? Just when you get to the 12 marker, cut it where on the second one where okay. it would be at the 12 and then we'll dump it. You can use one of those steak knives back there. I'm gonna go ahead and measure out the flour. Now one thing I've had to definitely learn about baking is it's all a science. Don't try to pinch and dash your way through it or improvise too much because it's never gonna taste as good. And I'm a cook, y'all. I'm not a baker at all. So I've had to really learn how to be more precise with my measurements. Um, otherwise, things come out lopsided or they taste weird. <laughs> so we got two here. Let's go for the half marker. Okay, so you got the butter. Maybe mm -hmm. slice it for me so it goes in the food processor evenly and it doesn't just have like a big clump on one side. That would be perfecto. Okay, so while she's doing that, I'm gonna get out, this is vegetable shortening, which is Crisco. I like the combined, you'll find like some recipes that are all butter um, recipes for pie crust. I like the combined butter with don't chop your finger off. <laughs> um, I like the combined butter with Crisco um, because you get more of a flaky crust. I like the two better. It just has a nicer crust to it. All right, so that's a half of a cup of shortening. So I got my half cup. Scoopy doopy here. Looks like we need to add this to the list, Malia, of things I might need to get from the store. All right, so it's pretty level here. I'm gonna go ahead and just scoop this in. You wanna make sure that this is nice and cold too because the colder it is, it just keeps the crust um, flaky and it's not, you don't want like a warm blob of butter. You don't want your butter to be um, room temperature like you would if you were making like say cookies or something, you want this to be stiff and to be able to stand kind of like on its own. So, all right, so we got butter in, 
we got shortening in, we got flour. Now we need a teaspoon of salt. You wanna measure that out? And then um, we need, okay. Thank you, lovely assistant. Now, because I'm making savory dishes with this, I am not gonna put sugar in this pie crust. Although the recipe does call for two tablespoons. Actually, I might just to balance it out a little bit. Put one. Now, see, I just said don't improvise, and here I am impro improvising. But it's all for our own good because I don't want a sweet pie crust with a chicken pot pie. That would be weird and gross. 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 All right, so we're gonna do, um, did we do this? You did the salt just now. Okay, so mm -hmm. this. All right, so I got ice cold water right here, glass of ice water. I'm gonna do eight tablespoons, because remember, we're keeping this all cold. One, have to we may have to add a little bit more water as we notice it's combining in here but um I don't know let's just see what happens so see how it's looking like it's like sand in here so it's like little pebbles in here. That's exactly what we want. I'm gonna just pulse it just a little bit to make sure it's all mixed through. But you don't want it to turn into a ball and end up on one end of your pro food processor. You want the sandy look, okay? So I'm gonna take this guy, he's done. Take a look at that, all right? And I'm gonna mix him, put him into this. All right, Malia, you wanna um, you wanna come do this other one here? Sure. The second batch. Since you just watched me, I mean, the mm -hmm. only way you're gonna learn is if you try it yourself, right? Yeah. Sorry, we don't need the lid yet. <laughs> okay, so come in here. Do the flour first, and you're gonna put fill that up twice. Make sure it's level. You got two and a half? Mm, oh, half. Two and a half. Right. Okay. Sometimes you just have to smell things to make sure they're still good. And I think we're still a go here. We get a half cup of shortening. Add that in there. Okay, now I guess I'm gonna measure out the, the butter for you. What's that from? The knife. Oh no! All right. So we got whoop, four over here. So. I'm gonna slice up four pieces of butter for you. Should I put the salt and sugar in? Yeah, you can. Just do one teaspoon of sugar, one teaspoon of salt.
So now I need, so now we have eight over here. I love this new butter I'm using right here. Mother's Choice um, Sweet Cream Butter. It's um, from a company called Azure Standard and I just started ordering from them and you can buy bulk food, organic food at a really good rate and you have to go and pick it up at a pick up, uh, drop off site. But it's kind of neat because everybody helps each other unload the truck. It's like group participation at its finest. And anyways, I really enjoyed it. It was really cool. Okay. Got this. All right, so now, now let me give you some more water in here. I'll be right back. Make sure we got enough. Okay, so you're gonna measure out eight of these to put in there. Just press the on button. just going to be clumped up butter. Should be fine. this guy out here. Oop. Put him in the seat. Okay, we've made two batches of pie crust. Do you mind putting that back in the freezer for me, please? Anyone else want? Yeah, you can put it right here. And move our other stuff out of the way. So I'm gonna lay out some plastic wrap. I just get this stuff at Costco. Actually, my mom went to Costco for me like probably five years ago and bought me two rolls of 750 square feet of plastic wrap. And I'm like, mom, I don't need that much plastic wrap. And it's taken me five years to go through all of it. So, all right, we're gonna put one clump here. And Actually, you know what? Hold on. You're supposed to like section it out and I'm gonna eyeball it into like little forms because what we're gonna end up doing is putting this back in the freezer because you always wanna work with cold pie crust, okay? There's one. Now I'm gonna do another one. Okay, and this, I believe, will make a top and a bottom crust together, I think. Usually, if you make them pretty thin, they will. And um, my chicken pot pie, particularly, 
requires a top and bottom crust. I don't like to make it crustless on the top because then, I don't know, it's just also how we're not used to eating it. Yeah, some people make their pot pie with biscuits. Malia was telling me her mom makes it with like what? A crock pot. In a, in a crock pot and she puts like the dough on the bottom and then maybe biscuits or something on the top. It's like everybody has their own pot pie variation of what they grew up with. I don't know, this seems like a lot for one crust, but maybe that'll be a thicker crust. And that's okay. All right, so into the freezer, these are gonna go. Just so you know, we have, we have made four, enough for four pies. So today we're probably gonna make two of the four chicken pot pies one to have in the, two to have in the freezer, or maybe we'll eat one tonight. I think that's what we might do. Mm. Yeah. And um, then we'll come back for the next part so where you can see how we roll this out and how we make and assemble our chicken pot pie will be the next video. So stay tuned to see how we continue to make pie crust. Malia, out. <laughs> So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to make chicken pot pie filling, and then we're also gonna roll out our pie crusts. So Malia, have you ever used one of these before? Mm-hmm. On what? Potatoes. Okay, so not on carrot tip, that's totally fine. So what I want you to do is, here, I'm just gonna show, it's just like that, so it's like you've got a little handle here, and then you just go downward like that, and it doesn't have to be perfect and it's kind of therapeutic actually. Yeah. So while she's doing that, I'm gonna get this pot over here and then I'm gonna, I, I have some random like frozen vegetables in the freezer and I'm gonna just dump these in the pot like so. And can I help you? Okay, come on and make your coffee. Don't be shy now. You can come be in the camera. All good. Mm-hmm. One of these days my husband will get in front of the camera. We'll see. He doesn't want to. All right, so I like to add green things, orange things, white things, and yellow things in my chicken pot pie. So here's some corn that I canned a while ago and I'm gonna pour this, this is fresh corn, because I love to can, and I have the frozen corn in there too. So I'm gonna put the two in there and then we're gonna peel some more potatoes. Usually I like I like to buy this stuff already in the can, it's called Veg All. But I've gotten to where I really just don't like eating things out of metal cans. Or I try to reduce it as much as possible, which my next step whenever I show you the filling you're gonna go, I thought you just said you don't like to eat stuff out of metal cans. Yeah, you can peel that Thing off. That's just from my group. Where is your All right. Carrots everywhere. I know. Well, you got to pick up the little chunks too. Don't be so rough. All right. So we're gonna open this up right here and dump this in. I kind of like dry packed this corn. I didn't. Really, I put some water in it, but not a whole lot. And it's got a lot of that corn milk in there which makes it really good and oops there it goes okay <laughs> you like my mixing strategy here mm -hmm. all right so this stuff we can actually save the little scraps for the compost so we'll put this back in here. We got a great little compost system working over at my neighbor's house. If you've seen some of my gardening videos, you would see that I garden with my next door neighbor. And we have a lot of fun together. Now she's teaching me about composting. So <laughs> this one's over here having a chiropractor moment. She's popping her neck. Um, Okay, you smell that corn? It smells good. It does. 
Okay, so. It's like fiesta. Right, so what we're gonna do is take this and then we'll throw this in the bag too. And then I want you to kind of like dice it up. Like this in the like small chunks. I'm gonna try not to top off my fingernail. And throw it in the pot like that. So y'all, we're gonna let this cook in the pot. So do that with all those. And um, in the pot for a little while. The other step, Malia, that I want you to do is take these green beans right here. They're a little bit long and chop them and make them shorter. Like little pieces. pieces. Right, little pieces. Let me take this over here. This is garbage. And then I'm gonna come over and peel some taters. Cause I think it's like you want like an even ratio of each type of vegetable that you put in here. At least I like like that. So I'm gonna come over here and peel my taters off. Actually, I can do it over the composting bag here. And I'll just put my little peelings back in there so that I can dump it in the composting. A bowl would probably be a little bit better, but I have this available. So, Malia, have you ever had chicken pot pie? Mm-hmm. I like it from Cracker Barrel. Ah. I've never had it at Cracker Barrel. I always get the chicken and dumplings. Let's go too. Mm-hmm. He always gets in the shop. Sparky, get there. Get there. Ah, get, get. Damn, kid. Here, there's another one. Sure, you can keep it. I don't like my cats on the counter. And it's like almost next to impossible sometimes. They just get up there. And this cat always likes to get in my shots. When Sparky. he sees it, I know, when he sees a camera out, it's like he's trying to be the star of the show or something. He better recognize. He better. Some big carrots. I know, I grew that. I grew that. Actually, Yelena and I grew that. <laughs> was like the first thing that I planted at the beginning of the year and I've been trying to plant carrot seeds and then my dog, Lucy, gets in there with her nose, she loves fresh dirt, and she just noses around and messes up all my germination stuff, so I have to like replant again before the window closes, and it's because it's getting hot here, y'all. It's getting real hot here. All right, got me some compost in over here. Got some more over here. Gonna have to wipe these countertops down. No, what are you doing? Don't cut it on the countertop. <laughs> Don't put on the countertop. No! <laughs> Come on, buzzing you out all the time. <laughs> this is an organic cleaner, so I promise you I'm not getting it in the food. It's made it with essential like oils. It is. It's made with cinnamon oil and lemon oil and clove and it's all good, man. All right. Throw that in there. All right. I'm going to put these back in the pantry. Ooh, losing some here. Losing some taters. Yeah. Make sure you slice them into cubes. You got that? 
Got it. Got it. Smart, because I might be here a while. <laughs> <laughs> I see that. Here. Teamwork makes the dream work. Facts. It does. So yeah, you just want kind of like even cubes. Perfect, those look great. And just throw them in the pot and you're done. contraption I have in my kitchen. So you just pull down the lever and then I just burned myself with the scalding hot water. But we're going to let this simmer on the stove and it's not going to take any time at all. Well it might because some of these are like frozen vegetables but at least it'll make it a little bit warm. All right. So I'm gonna go over here and head to the stove and I'm gonna cook it on a medium heat for probably like 10 to 12 minutes until it's a little bit tender because it's gonna continue to cook while it's in the oven too. So you don't want your vegetables to be too mushy. So when we come back, we're gonna go ahead and roll out that pie crust so you can see our homemade pie crust rolled out into dishes and we're gonna work on the filling. So now we are gonna attempt to roll this pie crust out. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna do one and then you can do the other one. Okay. Have you ever rolled out pie crust? No. We're learning a lot of things today. All right, so I have this in the freezer and I think it's still like kind of partially frozen. <laughs> so this ought to be interesting. You gotta kind of give it a good whacking with your rolling pin. You pretend like it's somebody else. I don't know why I'm talking with an accent right now. <laughs> Did you? like you were startled or something. Alexa, timer off. All right. Back to the rolling pin beating. Smack that dough. Smack it. You just, you gotta like chop it down. And then, in this case, we gotta, cause all that butter in there is like, I mean, frozen solid. So, see all the big chunks of butter in here? Oh, it's so good. So I'm gonna give it a little slight dusting of the flour. That's maybe a little bit more than a dusting. <laughs> more flour on there. And you work it. Work it. Work it, girl. Work it, girl. Work you it. better work. Work it. But how does it do your thing? Oh, oh I thought you were going to sing. Work, 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 work. Turn to the left. I don't know. What's Turn to the right. <laughs> Sashay, grande. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were just going to sing a Rihanna song. No. Work, 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 work. Girl, that's more of my generation. Um, RuPaul, who did 
that so all right you gotta have some muscle for this too oh my goodness i'm not smelling your armpits no i was looking at my muscles oh. all right everybody always has to text or call when you're in the middle of doing something like a video i should probably silence my phone there we go done okay so i'm gonna try to flip this over a little bit while I can. When it gets to be <laughs> too thin, you really don't want to. And y'all, I'm not a pastry chef. And you're going to be like, well, clearly you're not because you don't seem like you know what you're doing. Um, I do. I promise it, at any, if anything, it's going to taste amazing. All right. So just going to kind of, it might be a little bit too much. I don't know. Anyway, it'll roll right in there. I'm trying to avoid cracks like the one that I have on the side right here. And I'll probably get this dough pretty thin. You want now I want to like push out towards the sides. And see this this guy here is like giving me some trouble. I feel like we can be like a little cup, a little bit of water. It's like I have to perform surgery on my pie crust here so I can get this one little part to stick. Just need like a little bit in the seam here so it's like glue to the pie crust. Okay. So and then I'm gonna whoop, <laughs> come and work it over this way and work out and then work back towards me, pull it towards me, pressing down. And the reason why you want to do this on a um, piece of like saran wrap is because when we go to flip it into the pie shell, the, um, the glass dish, it will act as a, um, I don't know it's like a like it helps you get it all in because otherwise like sometimes you put it in your um you put it in your hands and it'll all like fall apart but the saran wrap helps keep it together oh lost another one got tucked under there no okay and then this one oh well all right are you bored? No, just watching. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was bored, y'all. You get to do the next one, little girl. All right, so this is not perfect by a long shot, but look at all the pieces of butter in there. All right, can you hand me a um, pie dish, the glass one, please? All right, this is gonna be the fun part. So, got my pie dish. So you can see this really well here. All right, and then I'm gonna pick it up with one hand. Put this here, actually, I may even do this number. See how it just like falls in there and then I can pick up the sides. Wow, this actually did pretty well. Um, and because I have flour on the other side, it all went in there. So this is, look at that. All right, now let's see if it'll behave and peel up. All right. I mean, this is like a nail biter here, but so far so good. Looky there. All right. <gasps> Pretty. <laughs> All right. So now I'm gonna get a knife. I hope you're paying attention because you're doing one of these things. Nice. All right, so I'm gonna run it along the side here. And, cause you don't wanna go on the inside of the pie shell cause then all your stuff falls in. You want it to be on the outside. And I may even be cut it too close, but we need some of these little niblets here to be able to um, piece the other pieces of the pie together. 
if you're a baker out there and you're watching this like completely mortified at my baking skills, I'm sorry. I'm sure there's some other YouTubers you could follow that would give you all of the gratification that your little hearts desire, but I'm probably gonna make your skin crawl. So, uh, all right, so I piece this together. It's like putting a Band-Aid on it, actually. A little pie Band-Aid. And then I got a little hole over here, so I'm gonna patch that with my scrap. And then I got a little hole over here. I'm gonna patch that over there. And then I see another little hole. They said that in Steel Magnolias. You ever saw that movie? Mm-hmm. Como se llama what? <laughs> you never saw Steel no, Magnolias? No, I don't watch a lot of movies. Well, you are younger than me. Um, but it was made in, like, Louisiana. Natchitoches. You know where Natchitoches is, right? No, mm, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, I think we have to watch that now that you have not seen it. Maybe hey, watch it tonight. Good. Ooh, yes. It's a good one. Anyways, my favorite thing that she says is, oops, I see a hole. And that's because she's doing Dolly Parton's hair and it's so big and she has to, like, tease it out. <laughs> so, all right. So, here is pie crust number one. Okay. Oh, no. Uno. no. All right. Now I'm going to take my little scraps over here. We don't really need those anymore. I'm just going to toss them. And now we're going to do the top part. Okay. I'm going to roll out a fresh piece of saran wrap from Malia. And I'm going to let you roll for the top part of the pie crust, which we don't need to do anything with other than just set aside for the moment because all right so take it oh goodness <laughs> all right now get your rolling pin and then you can put a little bit of flour is it magnetic no nope, it's just heavy oh it's heavy <laughs> what is this <laughs> Don't trust me with this. <laughs> Don't try this at home, kids. She is a professional. Make sure you have someone. Um, oh, I was gonna say over 21, but I'm 21, so that's a bad thing. Okay. <laughs> Just gonna hurt somebody with that. Do not mess up my countertops. You already used a knife on my countertop. My husband will come undone. Here, wait. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Try that. <laughs> I'm not even Catholic and I'm already making the sign across behind this girl. <laughs> Why is it sticking? Put a little more flour on it. If it's sticky, then you put should have put some flour on it. If it's sticky, then you should have put some flour on it. There you go. All right. <laughs> it's getting away from me now. It's running away. I don't want me to do anything to it. All right. <laughs> I'm getting somewhere. You are. You're getting somewhere. <laughs> Don't strain yourself now. It's only pie crust. How do we do this? <laughs> oh, it's on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm moving my valuable antiques out of the way. <laughs> Everybody's got to learn somehow. This is looking like a square. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but you're getting somewhere. Okay, I think... <laughs> I think you should... <laughs> oh my okay. goodness. Okay, it's fine. 
It's fine. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. So, oh, Malia. Okay. Um, it's beautiful. It is so perfect, y'all. It is so perfect. Look Better at this. Better than anything y'all could do. This is yep. true. This is true. Okay, so I'm gonna lay this like on top of here. Look, I think it's gonna do the job, Malia. Look at that. Give me the little scraps. All right, look. So see, I mean, it may look like a little squirrely <clears throat> in the beginning, but see, we're just gonna lay it right on top like this, and that's all it needs to do is just cover the filling. So I got, I'm just gonna let it rest right there with the saran wrap, so it's not hurting nothing. Okay. Um, all right. I'm gonna put this back in the refrigerator so that the butter does not go soft on us, and then we're gonna work on our filling here in a little bit. So be right back. Okay, so now that we have that pie crust made and we have our vegetables, they steamed or boiled over the stove for like 15 minutes. Look how hot they are. <laughs> and we can smell this fresh corn, y'all. It smells to, so good. I know, I have to tell you. So I started canning two years ago, back in 2020. I learned during the uh, pandemic and even canning equipment was very hard to come by. Somebody in Thibodeau, Louisiana, actually found a pressure canner that was for sale there and shipped it to me here. She's a friend of mine. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, they're cool. So anyway, uh, I learned how to pressure can through YouTube, YouTube you. And um, anyway, I canned this corn two years ago. So usually, they say like a year to a year and a half, but really canning stuff will last you far longer than that. You just have to monitor it. You have to make sure that your seal is really good on your jar, and this one was. So we can smell it. It smells like I just bought this corn, like fresh off the cob yesterday. When you eat canned um, can corn out of a metal can, it doesn't smell like that, does it? Mm -mm. So anyway, but we put all our fresh produce and some frozen in here, and that's okay into this bowl. So I'm going to dump it in this bowl right here. Give myself a steam facial. Yes. All right. And then remember that chicken that we shredded. You want to put that chicken in there? Mm -hmm. We shredded that chicken from the Instapot the other day. And we're going to dump all that in there. So that's just two <laughs> chicken breast. Okay. And it actually seems like we have a lot of vegetables in here and not that much chicken. So, but that's okay. Sometimes you need a lot of veggies in there. This is really one of the only ways my kids will eat vegetables. Like my son is very particular. He's 12 and he's got like issues with texture and he doesn't really like to eat a lot of different foods, but he loves chicken pot pie and especially this. So the next ingredient is Campbell's cream of chicken soup. How many recipes do we have that has cream of mushroom and cream of chicken or even cream of celery or cream of something in there? Cream of a Cheeto. Cream of everything. Cream of everything. I like cream of chicken soup. I've tried making my own cream of chicken soup and while sometimes it's good, I'm just, I don't know, I just kind of I'm old school and I like my old school flavoring. Campbell's. Yeah, I like my Campbell's sometimes, you know? So into the mixture it goes. It's a nice. great sound. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I got one, and I'm gonna do the other one. Um, here, get a, a spatula. Here, and you gonna help me mix this once I get the other one in here. And I'm gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper in here, but not much, because really the soup is already has plenty of stuff. Really not that attractive when you first pour it out of here. It kind of looks like vanilla pudding a little bit. Chunky. <laughs> it's a little chunky, yeah. Just a little chunky. Kind of like me. <laughs> Alright, let me get some salt and pepper. Salt and pepper here. <laughs> Salt and pepper, see? 
I don't even know what we're singing. Something about salt and pepper's here and we in effect. Want you to push it there. Is that what you were thinking about? No, a different song. So oh. on TikTok. <laughs> Alright, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Alright. A little bit of salt. I know that looks like a lot of salt, but it's really not that much salt. And some black pepper. No, I'm not going to sneeze. Okay, don't. Don't sneeze on the pot pie mixture anyway. <laughs> Smells so good. It does. All right. Want to show them what it looks like? Yeah. So it's just a. Oh, that black pepper's getting me now too. I want to sneeze. Bless you. <sighs> All right. So okay. So we got the first one done. The filling done. Okay. Now I'm getting my. Okay, I also get one egg, because we're going to do egg wash on the top. It just makes it pretty. So, taking the lovely top layer. Okay, now we're going to do... Can I put it in there? Yeah. You were very hesitant. Well, because I don't know if you know how much to put in there, but we're going to see. An even layer. Mm-hmm. Probably got enough for like three in here. A little filling. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It needs more than that. Do another big, big scoop. scoop. Yeah. He's pretty. Another one? Yeah, do one more scoop. Not oh that's too big. Like a half of that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay. Good job, Malia. Thanks. All right. Yeah. And I only spilled one piece of corn. There you go. All right. I need it. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna put my little scraps over here. It's because we're probably gonna need them to put this girl back together. Let's see. For my first time. Not bad for your first time. Oh my God. <laughs> it got to her. <laughs> <laughs> I did not want to. <laughs> I didn't want to sneeze on the pie. What was with the hand? I don't know. Bless like, you, Sam. Jesus' name. Out of my way. Out of my way. <clears throat> All right. Get me. I never said this pie was gonna be pretty, y'all. But it's gonna taste good. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. It was made with love. It was. So, like I said, we got to make a band-aid situation here. Dip my finger in some of this water. Put some right there. Will you get me a fork, please? I'm just using like the teeny tiny little pieces here. Um, where's that knife at? Oh, there it is. All right, so we're gonna trim the pie. Put it right there. You know that like little teeny tiny glass bowl I have right there that we used to put like ketchup and stuff in. Or get me a regular bowl, like that you eat cereal out of. And then we're gonna whip the egg wash in it. I'm gonna crack the egg in it? Yeah. Here. And now I'm gonna crimp the side so that as much as I possibly can, none of the pie filling is gonna escape the pie and it holds it all together. And if you press it up against the glass firmly, it'll keep the pie crust. Excuse me. <laughs> the pie crust from shrinking down into the pie. 
so I just think it makes a prettier presentation anyway or at least I'm trying to make a prettier presentation out of this crazy looking pie I think if we had a little bit more crust Malia it would probably look mm -hmm. different I never promised it would be pretty. I promised it would taste good. Okay, so we're going to poke <clears> some <throat> holes in here like that. And then hold on, I got a little brush. It's like a little silicone pastry brush. And all I'm going to do is beat this up. I like to make a sound of it. Then I'm gonna take my whisk and my brush here, just brush the top. get the edges and these like little bitty pieces on the side I just got those too so okay here we go here is our chicken pot pie I'm gonna put it in the oven at 400 degrees at a minimum of 30 minutes and then I'm gonna go back and check usually it takes 40 to 45 minutes you want to make sure that crust is golden brown before you um, bring it out and then it's perfect so I'll be back in a little while to show you the finished product so you know what it looks like. you enjoyed our chicken pot pie video today if so make sure you subscribe to our channel and as always we thank the lord for his awesome abundance have a blessed day